Stars eventually die. It's a fact of the universe that they exhaust their fuel in one way or another and eventually die. Some of them, giant stars, might only live for a few million years before exploding as supernovae. Others, such as fuel-efficient red dwarfs, might live enormously long lives and last as much as trillions of years. Still others, like our own sun, will go through stages in life. First, the sun we see now will change its equilibrium and transform itself billions of years from now into a red giant and likely swallow up the earth in the process. And past that, it will become a cooling white dwarf, more of a stellar cinder than a star. But there is a lot of predictability here. We know what classes of star will do what, and what will very likely happen to them in the future through the study of stellar physics. But one thing stars generally don't do is just up and disappear. And even if there was a ready mechanism for that to happen, they shouldn't do it on scales of just a few years, other than perhaps a certain type of rare supernova. More on that in a bit. And there are candidates for stars that apparently have disappeared for no apparent reason at all. The story goes back to a 2016 paper by Beatriz Villarol and colleagues, link in the description below, where they detail that by studying past sky surveys in detail, things that might appear to be physically impossible, such as the rapid disappearance of a star, might be spotted over time. Using several surveys, they spotted one object that was of particular interest. It may or may not have disappeared right before the eyes of our surveys. Fast forward to now, Villarol and colleagues have released a new paper, link below, covering what's happened since 2016 in their work. In regards to the object of interest, it's uncertain what happened there, and further work shows that it may not have disappeared at all. Instead, the object seems to still be there, or an object close to its location, but is now significantly dimmer than what was seen in past sky surveys. If it's a star, it dimmed. Now the reasonable question to ask here is could the star simply be a variable star? The universe is full of stars that vary in brightness, and currently the prominent night sky star Betelgeuse in Orion is at an unusual low, prompting some to wonder if it's about to go supernova, though that's very highly unlikely. It'll go sometime soon, in geologic timescales, but probably not tomorrow. Another option is a red dwarf that happened to be flaring right when the sky survey that first detected it happened to be looking, and it has since calmed down. Not a bad option at first look since we know that some red dwarfs, particularly younger ones, can produce ridiculous flares that cause them to brighten briefly and therein perhaps sterilize some poor exoplanet that might be developing life. But there are problems with that idea. If it was a flare, it was very strong, perhaps stronger than anything thus far recorded, and it doesn't really fit the profile of a variable star either. Could other causes be involved? Is it possible that a distant quasar could be the cause, and the data isn't clearly showing what it is? Only more data and study will tell, but the idea of something changing in a matter not easily explained in the galaxy is of course intriguing, especially over short terms such as in these papers, even though the vast majority of detections of this sort of thing will very likely end up having natural explanations. The paper goes on to detail that since 2016, about 100 additional candidates have been found for inexplicably disappearing stars. And while the explanation is probably something astrophysical, there's a chance it might also be a technosignature from an alien civilization. But it's best not to jump to conclusions there. Also in 2016, the star KIC 8462852 was seen to be dimming in a strange way and was also undergoing a long-term dimming trend that might eventually make it appear to eventually disappear. While an alien origin for whatever was happening at that star was initially on the table because no one at the time had thought of a good natural explanation, it's since been found that very fine smoke-like dust seems to be the culprit in causing the dimming at the star. Though just what the exact circumstances of this are is still an open question, though a new hypothesis suggests that it may actually be a shredded exomoon. It pays to remember though that there are many corners of astronomy that we do not yet completely understand. One example of this that may be relevant to this mystery is the concept of a failed supernova. Essentially what happens here is that a star of a certain mass and size attempts to explode in a supernova event as it collapses into a new life as a black hole. But it happens such that the explosion doesn't actually happen, rather the star essentially contains the explosion and draws it in thus preventing the supernova and simply producing a black hole directly from a collapsing star. These papers remind me of another oddball instance in the history of astronomy, the mysterious disappearing stellar debris disk. I've covered this on this channel before, but I do so again because it almost seems like one of those mysteries of astronomy that was forgotten and not really ever looked into much again. 
The star is called TYC 8241 2652, and it, at first glance, appeared completely normal. The star was first observed in infrared in 1983 by NASA's IRAS satellite. It was found to be young and with a debris disk of dust glowing brightly in infrared, as it should. Protoplanetary disks like this around young stars are not unusual by any means. Our own solar system, in fact, once looked much like this while the planets were still forming. Fast forward to 2010. NASA's WISE spacecraft observed the star and all of that material was just gone over just a few years, which was confirmed a few years later with a ground telescope. The protoplanetary disk has just disappeared. It should take geologic timescales to clear a disk like that. Yet the star system did it within less than a human lifetime. How did that happen? There are no particularly good explanations for this one. Perhaps something caused the debris disk to fall into the star very rapidly. Or some cascade caused all the dust to crush into smaller, undetectable particles. But those aren't very good explanations, and to this day, no one really knows what happened at TYC 8241-2652. I think with the research going on, things are going to get almost real time as we look at the universe. Short-term events seen in the universe like this will only grow the list of mysteries, and who knows, someday a candidate may come along that has no good natural explanation, and we are left with only one option, that what we see is an alien civilization. Thanks for listening, I am Futurist and Science Fiction author John Michael Godier, currently noting that things around me tend to disappear. This ranges from my glasses, the phone, various socks, and even pastries when Anna does the Health Week inventory. The latter might be subterfuge on my part, but I'm sure I'm not alone in misplacing things. It would not be pleasant if we woke up one day and we managed to misplace the sun. What would the aliens think? First said message would be, what did you do with your star? And we'd be like, don't know, but it's getting cold around here. Not a pleasant end. And be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channels for regular, in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.